my loves and welcome back to my channel today I'm coming to you guys with a Mac haul which um, I promise you. yes so I went uh, shopping at Mac actually this was my first purchase online and the only reason why I purchased online was because they had um, certain products that they would not have in the store that I normally go to so that and they released their new 2014 matte collection um, for those of you that love matte lippies I'm going to be showing you swatches of all the lipsticks that I picked up including the ones from the collection now the collection had eight <laughs> eight lippies and I picked up I already had one of them they're saying that one of the colors which is heroin was part of the collection but it actually is a permanent now it wasn't before but now it is a permanent color and I already had that so I didn't pick that one up so you can say I got six out of the eight colors of the collection I digress let's keep this moving so the first thing I picked up was a mini of the Mac strobe cream and this is actually really pretty I used this on a couple of clients I had a sample of it and it just makes the skin glow it's just the cream you can use this as a base and once you blend it in it's kind of white but it's more luster like and it is perfect to get that nice glow dewiness it is just phenomenal you can also use it to like dab it over the cheeks and stuff like that just to add that glow the first powder I picked up was emphasize and this is just a nice highlight and you can use that for under the eyes because it's not that shimmery it's just like a good highlight I did use it under the eyes today but it really did right in my eyes even though I look exhausted okay so I picked up three blushes and one of them was from the collection the matte collections but we'll get into that later the first one I picked up was Melba which is a old cold favorite it is absolutely absolutely it is absolutely a gorgeous peachy pink um, blush and let me see if you guys can see the swatch there it is beautiful it is an old cult favorite and I've been wanting to get this blush for a long time and now I got it the next blush I got is another well-known blush and this is Flora power and it is just a pretty pink it is kind of on the rosy pink spectrum but it is pretty nonetheless and these are colors that look good on my kind of skin tone and you know beyond so this is kind of mid-tone blushes that go with pretty much any complexion so that's why I picked these up and the next blush I got I um, is from the 2014 matte collection but they're permanent and I ended up getting the pro palette version rather than the compact I've been told by Mac that these are permanent and all three blushes are gonna be permanent on the line so I was excited about that and I was able to get this one and this one's fleeting romance and this is just gorgeous it is just like a corally, dusty coral almost, but it's just really pretty and I know it goes great with my skin tone because I have it on today. Okay. Now I wouldn't say that this blush is completely matte. I would say that this is more on the satin matte spectrum. It is so soft and it glides on the cheeks and it kind of gives you that inner glow because when I put it on and I was like, oh, it's not matte. It has some sort of glow to it but there's no glitters and no shimmers to it now i have them all lined up in my palette and i'm a happy girl okay now moving along to the lipsticks i'm going to be showing you guys the pretty much every single one that i collected and i will be showing you guys swatches the first color i picked up was velvet teddy now all these lipsticks are matte and this is actually a permanent in their collection i just wanted it and every time i look for it it's sold out so i don't know this is more of a cool tone nude with some mauve undertones it is more of that Kylie Jenner lip thing that's going around but I have so many of the MAC um, nude mattes that I knew this was part of this was going to be part of my collection when I can get my hands on it and I did and I was a happy girl so the next color that I will be showing you is the one that I have on my lips and I don't know about you but I love it I think it looks really really good and this one's called styled in sepia it is a different color I don't have a color like this this kind of reminds me of the stone lip liner 
Um, it's just that variation of tone. And this is described by MAC as a mid-tone cement beige or something like that. And I'd have to agree, it is actually pretty fabulous and it is perfect for fall. And I personally think I'm rocking it, okay? <laughs> so the next color is Pander Me and this is like a soft peachy mocha and that's how MAC describes it. And I'd have to agree with them. It is a really pretty shade. I didn't think I would like this on my lips but I have so many nudes that would kind of resemble this and you can always add a little bit of um, brown or reddish to it just to kind of uh, make it less orange. But I liked it on me and I thought it was really really pretty. It is a little bit more on the clay orange spectrum but it is really really pretty and uh, I'm not complaining. <laughs> now the next color I have is Novel Vogue and it is described as a soft blue pink or blue base pink and I would say that they describe this color pretty dead on. It's not a color I have in my collection. You'd think I'd have something like this but it is really pretty. I think it just reminds me of that flower power uh, blush a little bit except this is way more blue tone and I actually like it on my lips, so I just, you know, I probably won't wear it as much as the other colors. I always seem to gravitate towards the nudes. And the next color I have is Damn Glamorous, and I'm sure that this is going to be on high demand just because of the name. And MAC describes it as a vibrant pink red or something like that, and it does. It looks more coral to me, and it's probably because it's on the pinky tone and red. I don't know. It just, it looks really, really good. I actually love it very much. In some lights it looks more orangey red and in good lighting it looks just like this pinky red. Perfect. I love it and I'm so glad I picked this one up. Moving right along. Next color is Heroin and this is an old cult favorite. This has come out limited edition for a while and it sells out and people go crazy for it and they finally came out with it on their permanent line and it was even sold out then for a while on their permanent line and I finally got my little sticky hands on it and it is a vibrant purple it's absolutely gorgeous it's cool tone it's perfect for fall it's perfect for spring it is just all around perfect and I think this is the lipstick that just set off everyone having at least one purple lipstick in their collection. So the next color I have here is Living Legend and it is very vampy. It's very deep plum and that's exactly how MAC describes it on their website and it is. It is just a very vampy color. It's very very opaque. It actually does apply pretty soft to the lips. As you can see it's very vampy. Very. So the last color I picked up I don't even know if it's a new lipstick or not. It's not a color I've ever seen and trust me I go to MAC enough and swatch enough that I would have noticed this color right away so I don't know if maybe my store was just always sold out of it but Smoke Purple is a beautiful dark purple. It's absolutely gorgeous. Very, very muted, very neutral. This would make my teeth look whiter and it is really pretty. This is just straight up purple, like purple. Like smoked purple is the perfect name for it because it is more on the neutral cool side and I can't wait to rock it. So that is it guys. That is my haul. I know I went a little crazy at MAC but it's lipsticks and you just start adding stuff to your cart and online, online is the devil, okay? But you know, we still love it very, very much. Let me know down below if there's any of these uh, swatches that popped at you and you're like, I need to have, or if you ordered anything from the collection, I really would love to have your input. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my haul. I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.